I'm wild Ed. And are you sick of your extension cords looking like this? Me too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do my extension cord wrapping. So the easiest way to explain this is you're going to start off getting all your knots and stuff out of your extension cord. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run it lengthwise. Just run it longwise. Make sure you get it all out of there. Come on, follow me, bed, follow me. Get it all out of there. Just keep going, keep going. And see, this is exactly why I'm doing this video, because this is what you get. Right here, folks. And you just keep pulling and pulling. This was something, uh, this was something my dad showed me back when I was a uh, teenager, something like that. I was in the shed one day and I seen them hanging up there on the wall, all neat and nice like. I said, Dad, what the hell is that? He said, well, son, that's how I keep my shit neat. I said, oh, okay, well, teach me. So he did. So what you're gonna do is you take your end, you go all the way back to your other end. After you have it all undone, you know it's ready to go. You grab your other hand here. Now with pressure with your right or left, whatever hand you're comfortable with. Squeeze, pull. So that these ends, you want these ends to stay even so it looks neat. So you just do this the whole way through. See, so you got a knot there, so you have to re, uh, redo that one. But it's easy once you got this going through, you just even your ends out, pull, pull, pull. So everything's even. You walk back like this. Make sure it stays even. You want everything to stay even. This next part, I'm gonna need Jim's to all pay attention to because this is when it starts getting a little bit tricky. So what you're gonna do is you have your loop like this, okay? You're gonna fold it down over itself like that, okay? And then pull it through. See that, like you're getting ready to do one of those knots there? So after you have it through, you wanna grab this and pull it through that loop, okay? Let me show you one more time, one more time. After you have this loop here, you got that one, okay? Push this one into the hole and pull it through, okay? Now that's the bottom of your thing. Now after this step, super easy. Do the same step again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hand through, okay? And then grab it, pull it through and twist at the same time. See how that's forming that right there? Let me show you. Grab it, pull it through, and it'll, you'll feel it twist on its own. You'll, you'll know when, you're, when you have it right because it'll all go in real smooth. And you just keep doing that, okay? Keep these nice and tight. The tighter the circle, the neater and nicer it's gonna be. And you're just gonna keep going the whole way. Don't forget, the tighter and smaller the loop, the better it's gonna look at the end the nicer it's gonna look at the end. So make sure you keep going really super tight. The whole way through. And once you do it a couple times, you're gonna get the hang of it. Super easy. But like I said, bring it up and pull it through. Okay? Your hand in there, pull it through. See what you're coming up with there? Nice tight pattern. Nice tight pattern. <laughs> As 
super easy once you start doing it. You really get the hang of it easy. But like I said, just keep your circles nice and tight. It'll keep everything looking good. Keep everything where you need it to be. And then once you're done, you don't have wires everywhere. And then uh, after I'm done doing this, I'll show you a nice little way to keep it nice and neat. And then you can make it uh, any length that you want. Which is always good. And this don't always have to be just a big extension cord. You can do this to any of your cords. Household cords, your smaller extension cords. It, like I said, it don't have to be an extension cord. You can do this to anything that you feel like you want to do this to. But, alright, pay attention here at the end. I'm going to need you to come pay attention to this part, guys. After you have your last loop there, you can't really go no more. What you're going to do is take your ends and just push them right through here. Voila! And that there is extension cord made easy. One of the nice things about also doing this is not only is it going to be neat for storage and it looks good, but you just go ahead and do your last step first and pull that out of there. And then you can make this any length you want. So what you're going to do is you pull that out of there and you step on it so you have a little bit of tension and then you can just pull this wire and then you can make it any length you want. Say you need 6 foot, 10 foot, 20 foot. This is 60 foot here. So let's say I just need uh, 10 foot. We'll call that a rough 10 foot. We'll take the end loop that it stops at and we'll put this through like we did at the end when we were done. And that's going to stop it from moving anywhere. And now you have your 10 foot of extension cord. And that's how I uh, store my extension cords. It's a nice, neat, easy way to do it. Keeps everything uh, neat. So if you like this video, I'm going to need you to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned, I'm going to have a lot of good stuff coming out.